Welcome back everyone. We are making stuffed sausage for the 4th of July. We're going to be using linked sausage for this recipe today. Y'all come on down. Let's put this one together. We are using a beef smoked sausage and also I wanted to use this garlic smoked sausage. That looks really yummy. So what we're gonna do is take these out of the package and we're gonna put them on the cutting board. I know this one's gonna smell really good. Put that garlic in there. What's great about this recipe is that you can cook it in your oven, you can cook it in the air fryer, you can even put them on your grill outside. I'll pass that off to my husband there. We're gonna cut these into about four inches, like that right there. You don't want these all to be the same size. So we'll do that with this one here, those right there. Ooh, that garlic one, that's gonna be mine. So we're gonna take our knife, we're gonna cut through the sausage, about halfway through, to where we can stuff them like that. Just take it, just kind of break it a little bit, just to kind of pull it open. There we go. Just like those. Let us know down below what sausage links the flavor that you want to use. Kielbasa is another good one. I'm just going to open it up a little bit. Let's make the mixture for these. We're going to add some veggies to our mixture. I've got some green bell pepper. This was already diced up. I used it for another recipe and I had this left over. So we're going to finish using that for this recipe. I've got a red bell pepper. This will add a nice crunch. I'm going to use two sides of this. We're just going to cut thin strips. If I can keep them on the board. <laughs> I like red bell pepper. He does. Nice and sweet. Yeah. And then we're just going to turn these around. Mm, good luck. And dice them up. You want to keep them pretty small. It's not going to take very long to cook these in the oven. All right, we have that. And then what I'm going to do is chop up a red onion. This is half of a red onion, and we'll see how much we're going to need of that. I'm just going to peel off that outer layer. Oh, I cannot wait for this recipe. This is new for us, so we've been seeing it around on social media. I wanted to give this one a try. Just cutting thin strips. I'm just going to run my knife through the strips to make fine dices. You can do green onions with this if you want to do that, or you can use a yellow onion. I had the red and it adds such a nice color. That's plenty right there. I'm not going to add any more, but I am going to make sure that it's all nice and diced small. Now we're going to add all of this to a medium bowl or a large bowl. Because I'm doing two whole lengths of sausage, I had a 12 ounce and a 14 ounce sausage. I wanted a lot of dip to put in there. All right. Here's my bowl. The green bell pepper, the red bell pepper, and we got that red onion. Let's see, probably put that much in right there. I've got my beautiful cake over here that I'll be finishing up later for you guys, but you've probably already seen that video because it came out before this one here. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. That's the firecracker cake. All right, to our veggies in our bowl, we're gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese. Now you wanna make sure it's very soft. If you're just pulling it out of your refrigerator right now, you can take it out of its wrapper, put it on a little plate for the microwave, about 10, 15 seconds. Should get it nice and soft for you. You don't want it runny. All right, let's add that to our bowl. Boop. We're gonna add some cheddar cheese, four ounces, because we're gonna use the rest of it for topping the sausages at the end. We're gonna add some seasonings. All right, here's my drawer. 
We're gonna put garlic powder, black pepper, some cumin, oh, it's always good, and onion powder, and let's see where it is. Yep. Woo! Smoked paprika. Let's add this. Garlic powder, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Ground cumin. All of these are gonna be quarter of a teaspoon. If you wanna add chili powder, you can do that. Give it an extra little heat. Onion powder, smoked paprika. I'm gonna take a large fork, serving fork, and just kinda of mash this all together. All right, your mixture should look like that right here. If you wanna be bold with your stuffing mixture, you can take jalapenos and add them with the peppers. But we have the jalapenos and we're gonna cut these in half lengthwise. We're not gonna add it to the mixture because it's just too hot for me. Put gloves on your hands when you do this or wash your hands really well afterwards. Yeah, don't do what I did, rub your eye out. Yeah, afterwards. you don't wanna do that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take a spoon and we're just going to clean out the seeds and that excess membrane right there. That'll take some of that heat out. We're gonna stuff these like we do the sausages, just like that. We're gonna take these and we're going to place them onto a sheet pan lined with some parchment paper, like that. This one split almost all the way through, so we just cut it and then did the split on that also. You can do it that way if you wanna do that. All right, let's move these down and then we'll put our jalapenos right there. How many hands do I have today? <laughs> we got four hands, all right. We're gonna take a spoon, we're gonna go into our mixture, form kind of a log shape, and then we're gonna put it right in our sausage. Spread it out. Fill it up. Yeah, there we go. Look at all those colors. All right, just go into your mixture. Kind of form that into a log shape. And get some more. There we go. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, this is a good one, you guys, for 4th of July. We have that one coming up and we have Labor Day, but you got all of summer too. Picnics, get-togethers, barbecues, Ooh, bring these. All right, now we're gonna fill the peppers. These are for Thomas. Mm -hmm. Rihanna will eat them too. Now, if you want, you can wrap your jalapenos in bacon after you put the mixture on. But Thomas likes it just like this. I don't need the bacon. He doesn't need the bacon. But you can do them both ways. We're gonna put some cheese across the top. Oh yeah. This is 4th of July. Put the cheese on. It's a party. It's definitely a nice party food. It's gonna be a party in your mouth with that one and that one. Yeah. Cannot wait to take a bite of these, yum. We're gonna pop these in the oven. I got it preheated at 400 degrees. Now you can also put these in the air fryer or you can put them on your grill outside. You wanna make sure the sausage is cooked through and nice and warm and that cheese is nice and golden brown. Let's check these out once they're done. These took about 10 to 15 minutes. I put them in there for 10 minutes and then I just totally turned off the oven for about five minutes to finish this right here, which you may have already seen. And if not, just go check my channel for firecracker cake. It was made easy with box cake mix. But in the meantime, check these beauties out. Ooh wee, look at this, you guys. I'm trying to get one for you. Oh, look at that, yum. 
I'm gonna plate this up. I'm gonna give one a try for you. I'm gonna take a bite for you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Happy 4th of July to you guys. That is delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love the crunch of the peppers and the onion in there. That mixture is so delicious. Don't add any salt to that mixture, guys. You don't need it. That cheese is enough. All right. Ooh. It's all you need, right? Stuffed sausages and a firecracker cake. <laughs> okay, y'all, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm-hmm.